Father Charles Bovio relates that in the Principality of Domes in France, there was a married man whose wife was jealous of another woman and did nothing but call down both on her husband and the woman the judgments of God. And this she did especially one day that she went before an altar of the Blessed Virgin to pray for justice against this woman. The woman, however, was in the habit of going every day to recite a Hail Mary before the same image. One night the Divine Mother appeared in a dream to the wife who, on seeing her, began as usual to exclaim, Justice, O Mother of God, justice. But our Blessed Lady replied, Justice, chastisements, does thou seek them of me? No, go to others, for I will not grant what thou askest. For know, she added, that that sinner recites every day a salutation in my honor, and by whomsoever it is recited, it deprives me of the power of allowing him to suffer or to be chastised for his sins. In the morning the wife went to hear Mass in the above-named church of our Blessed Lady, and on returning home met this woman, and immediately began to abuse her, and then declared that she was a witch, and that she had succeeded even in enchanting the Blessed Virgin herself. The people who were present told her to hold her tongue, be silent, indeed I will not, for what I say is true, for last night our Blessed Lady appeared to me, and when I demanded justice, she told me that she could not grant it on account of a salutation offered her every day by this wretch. The woman was then asked what salutation it was that she offered every day to the Mother of God, and she replied that it was the Hail Mary. On hearing that for that trifling devotion the Blessed Virgin had shown her such mercy, she went and cast herself before the Holy Image. And there, in the presence of all, she asked pardon for the scandal she had given, and made a vow of perpetual chastity. She then clothed herself with the habit of a nun, built herself a little room near the church, and there remained until her death, leading a life of continual mortification and penance.